Through our videos, we share lots of projects to help you with ideas to make money from woodworking. But in this one, we're sharing with you something that I just really enjoy doing. We use the same processes as with a lot of our projects. So the first stage is to mark everything out on the woods and prepare the designs. Our first project that we're going to focus on is Scooby-Doo. We drilled a hole for doing the pierce work, just cutting between the tail and the body of Scooby-Doo. And then straight across to the scroll saw where we can cut out the outline of our first cartoon character. I chose to make this one in a piece of mahogany and that was because I thought it was the right color for Scooby-Doo. So we cut all of that outline down the one side, down the other side. We get nice sharp edges finished and then go across to the workbench where we can add all the detail using the hand carving tools. You'll notice I've kept the two offcuts either side and that means I can hold it in my woodworking vise more easily. We start off by doing the stop cuts. So what we mean by that is cutting down into the woods and then afterwards we use the stop cuts as a barrier and you can cut into the line that you've marked out. Now across to our second project and we're working on a minion. Again we cut out the profile of that minion on the scroll saw. The piece of wood that I am using is the sap wood of what the Spanish refer to as savina. I thought it was a slightly yellowish wood so appropriate for our minion design. Again we can take advantage of those hand carving tools and add all of the detail to the Carving. Now when we're working with stop cuts, we're doing what is referred to as low relief carving and we're basically looking to give our cartoon character those different levels. So we've got to decide which bits we're going to push back and which bits we're going to bring out. And hopefully this is something that you can see. With our minion we bring the glasses out, we push the body back, the feet back and then shape everything with our various hand carving tools. On to our next character and it's a classic, it's Daffy Duck. One thing I love about cartoon carvings is you can really give them a character. You can put the emotion into the character that you're making. And this is especially true with Daffy Duck. I'm making it from a piece of mahogany. If I'm being honest, I would have preferred to have made Daffy Duck from a piece of black walnut because I think the color would have been more appropriate. But I haven't got any available at the moment. So the next best thing was a piece of mahogany. This is quite a delicate carving because we have that neck that is quite thin as are the legs. So we have to go quietly about that process nice and gentle so we don't actually break our Daffy Duck design. We start off by shaping the head and the beak and then proceed across to the body and the arm and the legs. Once again using the stop cuts as a barrier to try and give the carving different levels and layers and deciding which bits to bring out and which bits to push back. On to our next character and we're going for a Pokemon character, Pikachu. So once more we start off by cutting the outline. We keep the two off cuts for either side. Once again this will make it slightly easier for us when it comes to the hand carving. We can then use a variety of different fingernail gouges to do all of the stop cuts and then decide which bits of the character we want to push down into the wood and which bits we want to bring out. So for instance the tail gets pushed back as does the body and the features on the face are brought out. Our final character and my own personal favourite is Puss in Boots. We're using that Savina once again and the reason I chose this was twofold. Firstly I thought the Savina was appropriate because Puss in Boots has often been portrayed by Antonio Banderas, of course a famous Spanish actor, and also because we have the contrasting colour between the heartwood and sapwood, I thought it was a wood that has a little bit of extra flair, something that seems appropriate for Puss in Boots as a character. The process that we use is the same with all these projects where we start off using the scroll saw to get a basic outline, keep those two offcuts and then use the hand carving tools to add the depth 
The detail, the different layers, and the features of the face of our Puss in Boots carving. So when it comes to finishing these projects, we rub it down with a bit of sandpaper, and we add three coats of shellac sanding sealer, applying it with the grain. We wait for it to dry, rub the characters down using a finishing sandpaper. We then add a second coat of shellac sanding sealer to further bring out the character, contrast and colour in the grain and the interest in the carving. And we will repeat this process one more time adding three coats of shellac sanding sealer. So there you go, just a bit of fun doing some cartoon carvings. Remember to let us know in the comments section which one of those characters is your favourite. Is it Puss in Boots, Daffy Duck, The Minion, Pikachu or Scooby-Doo? If you've got any questions about that process, remember to get those into the comment section as well. Thank you all again for watching. If you're interested in learning wood carving and scroll sawing, remember there's loads of videos that you can check out on our channel to help you out.